All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Hope you've all had a fantastic Tuesday and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. Before we get into it, as always, be sure to smash that like button. I've been trying to upload a little bit earlier in the day for you guys. So if you are enjoying that, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are under 200 subscribers away from the big 15,000. So be kindly and highly appreciated if you subscribe, if you're not already, and comment your man of the match from the player five. Final. I know we don't want to talk too much player final anymore, and I know there wasn't many man of the match contenders, but get it in the comments and all your thoughts on the latest transfer news. Without further ado, let's get into it. It feels a bit like the summer transfer window of last year where we're just talking to Parchers, and unfortunately, that isn't going to stop anytime soon. Leeds United do need to learn a lesson from last year, though. We can't take too long to get rid of these players because it stops the incomings coming in, and we need to just get rid of people quick because there is going to be departures, the likes of Somerville, Nonto, Melier, you know, even maybe there'll be some bids for Archie, for Rutter, for even maybe Ethan Ampendu. You know, things will happen and people will leave. Get used to it, basically. But we are going to start with, you know, some of the loanies that went out um, last year. And we're going to speak about Jack Harrison. Remember that bloke? He's currently on loan at Everton, obviously back at Leeds now. But Everton are looking to make a permanent move for the England man in the region of around £11 million for Jack Harrison. It didn't look massively likely if Leeds were going to get promoted. Uh, Sean Dyche is a massive fan of Jack Harrison and wants him back playing for the Toffees next year. Um, and it looks more than likely that Leeds want to permanently get rid of Jack Harrison. For a region around 10 to 12 million pounds, I believe, will seal the deal for Leeds United. Jack Harrison, I think if we're being completely honest, you're a Leeds fan, Everton fan, even probably himself, hasn't set the world alight at Goodison Park, but hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, I don't really care too much, but if he goes there, he can do a little bit better than he done in his first sort of loan appearance, signing permanently, and hopefully Leeds United could get that out the window, make some money, because Leeds do need to make a bit of money, not as much as people are reporting, not 190 million, that is false, um, uh, it's to do also with people who have already been sold, like Adam Sinistera, that hasn't come into account yet. So a lot of these accounts, there's a lot of lies going around. So just, you know, players will be sold because we haven't gone up, but don't read into too much of the, the big millions too much. I do not believe that is true. Next up, we're talking Nonto. Obviously, Nonto will probably most likely be leaving Leeds United unless something, a miracle can happen. But it looks like Nonto and Somerville will be our key assets to make the FFP and make our money back and make it so Leeds United are not in financial disruption next year. Um, but he is wanted by Premier League clubs. Everton like the look of Nonto again, and also Syria clubs like the look of him. Nonto maybe could go to Italy, his home nation, uh, but Nonto will be one who most likely will be sold by Leeds United in the next few weeks. So he's wanted by a lot of clubs as well. Syria clubs are liking the look of the youngster. Uh, next up, Voba has returned to Leeds United. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach haven't decided to right now make the deal for Max Voba. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen, though. It looks like they could make up the funds. Now, Leeds United haven't got to the Premier League. It looks like they could chop a bit of money for Max Voba. Obviously, he was the captain out there in Germany as well, so he would be loved if he could come back to... Um, sorry if you just heard my dog in the background there. Um, he would be loved if he could go back to Germany for Borussia Mönchengladbach. But right now, he's returned to Leeds United. Next up, we're talking Joe Roden. How good has that mean, uh, man Sorry, been for Leeds United? He has been fantastic. An update on him, he is getting monitored by a few Premier League clubs. Uh, Tottenham, we know that do not want Joe Roden anymore, and he will be sold either out on loan again or permanently. Uh, he's getting monitored already by the likes of Southampton and Leicester, the teams who have just come up. But Leeds could still sign Joe Roden even in the championship. It would take around 10 to 15 million pounds to sign the Welshman. Would you let me know in the comments down below? He arguably had one of the better games in that playoff final. And he has been, for most part of the season, an absolute rock at the back. And he actually nearly scored in the playoff final as well. I mean, I can't even think about that playoff final anymore. It's doing my head in. But would you sign Joe Roden? I know I would. Uh, next up, Connor Roberts put a message on Instagram. It looked like a goodbye message as he makes his way back to Turf Moor to start a championship campaign for Burnley next season. 
Connor Roberts, for me, didn't do too much. I don't know how much Daniel Farker trusted him. He had a lot of bench time, and it wasn't good for the Welshman. I liked his character. I liked the look of him. If Leeds went back for him, I wouldn't be too disappointed, but he needs to start because he, he's worthless on the bench, and he didn't do a lot coming off the bench apart from that one Leicester game. Uh, next up, we're talking Archie Gray. He is being monitored by uh, Vincent Company's Bayern Munich side now. I know that's crazy to say. Vincent Company's at Bayern Munich. Crazy thing to say there. But he is being monitored and they're looking to test the waters with a potential bid for the young 18-year-old. I don't know how much Leeds can turn down bids for Archie Gray. He has signed a contract till 2028. But we all know in football, money talks and contracts mean niche. So they're looking to test the waters as well. Bayern Munich, uh, I believe Dortmund like the look of him as well. Man City, Liverpool, all these big sides like the look of Archie Gray, but it looks like Vincent Companies, Bayern Munich are going to test the waters and put in a bid for him. Not sure how much yet. Not sure when they're going to do it, but it looks like that will be coming in the next few weeks. Uh, next up, Ailing gone. He's gone to Borough for two years. Good luck to that man. You know, I still love Luke Ailing. I know a lot of Leeds fans still love Luke, but he's gone to uh, Middlesbrough for two years, actually having a very successful loan period there. I think he had the joint most open player assists with Junior Furpo since 2024, since joining Borough. So good luck to Ailing. You know, could he have done something in a lead shirt? Who knows? You know, hindsight's a beautiful thing, but Ailing's gone there. Good luck to Bill. Uh, next up, Somerville. Listen, he'll be one who goes. He'll be one who goes for big money as well. Like Somerville has been brilliant this season. I think people still talk about his attitude and no, his egos, all this. I, I'm not for that. I'm really not. I think you know, if it wasn't for Somerville, we wouldn't have even been in the playoffs. So good luck to him when he eventually does move. Leeds could try and persuade players to stay, but I think we need money. We really do. He will be sold, and Liverpool and Chelsea are still monitoring uh, the uh, the young flying Dutchman there. So. Anything could happen with them. I believe you can't turn down Liverpool. You can't turn down Chelsea. Players, clubs, you just can't. And uh, last but not least, Liam Cooper looks like he will be leaving. Our last sort of home game against Norwich looks like he was having a sort of a farewell sort of parade. Um, his contract does end in June or this month or next month. Are we? Where are we? We're at the end of May. So, yeah, next month in June. And I do not believe it will be renewed it's more likely to be renewed than it was if we were in the Premier League, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think it kind of looked like a farewell message for Liam Cooper. And the thing is, I don't think people will understand how much if Liam Cooper goes, it's not just what he does on the pitch, it's what he does behind the scenes as well. Every player who's ever played for Leeds under Liam Cooper's uh, captaincy has come out and said, you know, what just a beautiful human that man is. And uh, yeah, it will be missed, but we'll see with that one. Could still stay. But you never know. Like I said, it's full of departures. I don't have too much good news um, in talks of signings at the moment for Leeds United because it looks like we just need to start fresh from from now and get rid of players, make some money and build a squad for next season. I think under Daniel Farker, I think that's the stance from 49ers right now, that it looks like it will be Daniel Farker for next year. I'm sure in the next few days we'll have a big chat about Daniel Farker and your thoughts. Are you Farker in, Farker out? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, you guys have been excellent. As always, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, an exciting but nervy summer ahead with all these players leaving and players coming in, but I'm going to be here to give you content throughout the whole summer. So I've been Ollie Ward, you guys have been excellent, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.